Hi! It is 11.32 on Sunday the 1st of September. Yay! Welcome September! And it is time for Today in My Pujo. Now, if you haven't already watched it, go and watch week 36 set up because I need to access that week. <laughs> so, you know, and I don't want you guys to see it unless you've seen the setup. It's quick, it's a short video, it's hyperlapsed, it's fine. Go on, go watch it. Oh wait, come back. Are you back now? Did you watch it? What colour did I use? Hmm, did you get it right? We will see. Hmm. Okay, so let's go through, did I do everything correctly that can now go because i i didn't do <laughs> i didn't finish the junk journal challenge i just i'm still this whole ripping books apart is just doing my nut in so i'm i haven't got there so we finished off the weather i did my night care routine last night finished the cards for today did the mood oh yeah because i was itching i'm still itching for those of you that are curious or not as nobody mentioned it um i just i don't know i don't know what's going on uh, i have been told by my friends that this is actually quite normal so i'm like mm, yeah well we will see because it doesn't feel normal it feels horrible i feel like i've got ants crawling all over my fucking body it's really freaking me out but it doesn't feel maybe quite as bad today uh somebody did say wear a couple of layers so that your skin doesn't feel quite so exposed um but to be perfectly honest i've got a vesti top on and my back feels like it's fucking yeah i've got ants all over me that's how it feels okay yesterday i did about eight thousand steps Dara and i went out for a nice walk i haven't yet journaled um, because I haven't yet transferred the photos over from my camera, which I'm going to do that in a sec. So um, you'll have to see those in the evening edition, guys. Sorry. There we go. That is finished. It's it's fab to have it finished. It really is. Four miles. So there you go. That is that one finished. I love getting to the end of the month and like finishing all the spreads up yes i forgot yesterday's word i know and yesterday's word is gonna be itchy because my god i was itchy i don't know why i forgot it you know i actually looked right at it and then i just kept going and it wasn't until i was editing it last night that i was like why did i write it down i knew what i was gonna write but I was really shattered last night, guys. And then my son was like, oh, this game's just fit. And I was like, you asshole, I wanted to get a bed early. <laughs> so, yes. Whatever. Um, I didn't do anything else to... Excuse me, the cleated tracker. Right. Um, those need to be moved forward for me to do because I haven't yet done them and also I need to move forward all of these now I have done week 36 so I'm gonna cross that off because I did it before I did this video and August flip through I am gonna move that forward even though I'm about to do that next so I th think what I need to do is change the pen we're going the other way. This is going to feel very, very strange doing this this way. Now, I have done my day face cream. Something else I haven't done, which I need to do, is find some challenges. Because I don't know whether I'm going to draw or what. So, I need to go off and, and hunt for some challenges, you guys. Because, you know, I haven't yet found any. We need a card for today. We need pens to use. I'm not going to use any of these. I'm going to use different colours. So, these were mostly mood tracker pens, weren't they? 
let's pull out mm, that Luke? I think I'm going to use 126 and 26 for my two favourite decks do I need colours for anything else or is it just those it is just those isn't it because that I'm doing a line graph that I'm doing with the pen of the day and that's yeah so that's that's pretty much it right so what I would do then is I would just keep those two pens aside for my two favorite decks so I'm going to use gold for the everyday witch tarot enchantment tarot and then I've got plenty more room if I decide to grab out any of my other decks so we'll put 026 there and 126 there so we need to do a card for today let's start off with the everyday rich tarot for those of you that are wondering Daryl's watching Toy Story I basically said, yeah, you watch this because mummy needs to go and do some YouTube. And he was like, yeah, whatever, mum, see that. Eight of Swords. Um, now, she is bound, blindfolded and imprisoned by the swords. Where is she? I'm going to zoom in so you can get a better look. Now, I'm sure I had this not that long ago, or I've discussed this card recently because I remember discussing it. Um, let's get the focus going. There you go. Right. There you go. So first off, let's talk about the binding, shall we? She's holding that. There are no knots. It's just wrapped loosely around her arms. Okay. Um, plus, it's in front of her. So she could reach up and remove the blindfold whenever she wanted to, really. The swords are wide enough that you could step between them. They're also not in very deep. Look, the cats in the process are knocking one over. Her broom and her hat, which is most useful things, are within reach. She is imprisoned, but it's a prison of her own making. Yeah, um, she can leave whenever she wants. Okay, she just has to want. That's the that's the the issue. Um, this card could be talking about a great many things. It could be talking about depression. You know, are you depressed? Do you feel trapped? there is a way out and you can see it you just have to take that step yeah um are you in an unhappy happy relationship do you feel trapped there do you think because you've got kids you have to stay you really don't i know it's easy for me to sit here and say that um that you know you can even if you like and all of that in some ways it is as easy as that it really is. It is as easy as lifting your hands and removing the blindfold and letting go of that tie around your arms. In other ways, it really isn't because you're scared. And I understand that. I completely understand that. In which case, I urge you to get help. If you are depressed, please visit your GP. If you are in a violent relationship or you are experiencing violence at the hands of a family member or a friend or anybody and nobody else knows then you need to tell somebody okay um there are shelters for both men and women who suffer from domestic violence if you're younger um if you're a minor first off i apologize for the swearing um here in england we have childline um, I don't know what there is in the US or other countries. There is always somebody you can tell. If you are in school, tell a teacher. If you are at work, go to your first aider, go to your boss. There is always somebody you can tell. You don't have to go back to that. Okay, it doesn't matter what it is, okay? If you feel 
that this is you whatever your circumstance there is always always help okay if you don't know what that help is please scroll down to my link tree send me a message facebook messenger is probably your best bet start it off with i need help so that when your message crops up in my other i won't dismiss it because i'll know what it is i need help tell me your circumstances tell me your situation i will find out what help there is for you in your area okay even if you just want somebody to talk to I, i'm a good listener right, i'm crap at a lot of things but i'm a good fucking listener all right i have put <clears throat> pardon me um you feel trapped but are you really there is always a way out get some help okay now to the page that i hate i hate this page because this is bearing all to you guys okay i did my measurements this morning i've lost fuck all over the last couple of months because i've been bad i've been drinking cola i've been drinking fizzy drinks i've been eating sweets and i got chocolate and shit all over my desk okay i had a pack of moham stripes yesterday these things are lethal you know i near enough a whole pack there's a couple of bits left in there daryl's had a couple alex had a couple i ate the rest um i've got chocolate over here um you can't remove chocolate sitting around can you mm -mm. Mm. Okay, my chocolate. so i'm at my biggest i'm at my heaviest it's my fault i know it is i'm hoping once daryl gets back to school next week that i can really get on and get out walking because now i'm going from three days a week previously for when he was at preschool to five days a week where i can get out and walk i'm really looking forward to it i am going to give myself two days each week where no i am not available to pick people up run people around take you shopping um make phone calls or all of that <laughs> i'm going out for a walk with my camera and to just enjoy myself there are loads of places i want to go and explore um i'm sort of you know i can always get there by bus and walk home that's the great thing about the isle of Wight. you're never too far from home at the most you're 25 miles <laughs> you know or a bus ride away so this i'm gonna get working on that's why i bought this back because it needs to come back okay i will do this later tonight but I can tell you at the moment I've got a pounding headache. So there you go. Okay, sleep. How was my sleep last night? Apparently it was quite good and I slept quite a bit. Yeah, I went to bed at half eleven. Right. So I went to bed at half eleven and I slept through until actually eight o'clock, but there we go. I was awake for about an hour where I wasn't comfortable but other than that it was a quite a good night up until the early hours and then my back was aching and I couldn't get comfortable and all that lot so I'm going to put it at about here the steps won't be very high today because I'm at home and I don't really feel like doing much and I'm not going out I am going to have a nice lazy day of sorting out my journals and getting them all up to date so there you go chores oh, i haven't done the numbers across the top yet i know that this is the first because it's today and it's sunday and i'm really pissed that i did that so yeah let's just fill in this week yeah i haven't actually yet done any of it <laughs> Um, I won't be stripping the beds today because I have no way of drying them. Um, I might strip them tomorrow and cut them down the road and hang them out down at my mum's. I don't want to use a top dryer because it's, you know, it's too nice weather. And I'm... Pardon me. So I think I'll go and do the bathroom and vacuum upstairs at some point today. Maybe. And get the bath mats down and give them a good wash. Okay, so... Um, we are now into the rest of it. I plan to put a couple of WWE spreads here. And I'm thinking, and I mentioned this during my 
weekly setup but I'm gonna make this my to-do page because I have nowhere in the weeks because I've used the same sort of process as last month to put a uh, to-do list so I'm thinking I'm gonna put it here so let's use this grape color I could put a washi there as well couldn't I hmm I have this little owl washi, which I think is kind of cute. But I'd like an uppy downy one for a change. Although I've got some nice ones that Jo Lynn has sent me that I haven't yet used. I'm not sure where that one came from, so I think I might use those. I've got this really lovely one of the, um, I think this is a hawk moth, is it? From the uh, kit that Jo Lynn sent me. This is stunning. And then I've got this one and I've got no idea where this came from. I don't know whether Jo Lynn sent me this or Gemma sent me this or what. I don't remember buying this but this is really pretty. I've just noticed it. So I'm going to put this across the bottom because it's like grassy sort of planty things. And then I'll put that one across the top. That is really pretty. I like that a lot. I could see me using that again and again. That one. Jolyn is the only reason why I actually have Simply Gilded Washi because I quite frankly I think it's extremely overpriced and I never personally pay for it but she sent, keeps sending it to me and I'm like oh, it's pretty and I'm going to use it. I'm not at all shallow. <laughs> I'll use something if it's pretty and it's been given to me for free. It's just coming to the end of Toy Story. I can hear the music where they're sort of aiming for the car. <laughs> I love that bit. That's that's justification for mums all over the world. Oh great, where did you leave them? Where did you find them? Right here in the car. Exactly where you left them. No, oh, the toys are alive. You see that sick joke going around Facebook that said, um, what if the toys died and, and Andy didn't know and he was actually just playing with little toy corpses? <laughs> sick fuck, who come up with that idea? <laughs> oh, the colours in that are absolutely amazing. Absolutely beautiful. My printer decided to um, get all in, I don't know, puffy about something or other and spooged everywhere. Yes, I am colour coding this as I go because otherwise I won't. You know, I'll look at things later and go, who the hell is that? So I forwarded that, that, that. Also need to put my colour coding in for the month. Because I normally write a colour coding list. So let me just do that now. It doesn't tend to change from month to month because otherwise I, it's too much to think about whereas if I just stick to the same cut and I've been using these colors for the kids since they were tiny you know um, not that I tend to write appointments for the majority of them but if anything comes up then at least I've got a color for them so that's my color coding all done itchy face so there we go that's this week i can't sync because i haven't yet created a a6 journal to take me from from september i've got a headache i've got my brain's just suddenly died on me um i need to go and do the work week house on the scores which i'll go and do in a sec so there we go we are set up we are ready and all of that lot now i'm going to go off and put another Toy Story film on apparently because somebody's a bit whingy today and I think I might go and have some lunch because it's midday okay so I will see you in the evening edition take it easy bye